Good day. Welcome to Teacher Helen TV. Let's learn and enjoy assessment in learning one. Our topic for today is about standard based assessment. Here is the learning outcome. Formulate appropriate learning objectives and outcomes that are constructively aligned with national standards. A standards based test is an assessment based on the outcome based education or performance based education philosophy. Assessment is a key part of the standards reform movement. The first part is to set new, higher standards to be expected of every student. Then the curriculum must be aligned to the new standards. In standards based education, teaching is responsive to learning. When starting a new target, teachers present introductory lessons. As students progress, they are offered more complex material. They continue working and learning until they reach the target. What is standard based assessment? A standards based instruction intensifies learning that authentic learning matters, validity of context, and logical manifestation of performance. A standards based assessment is one of the bases on the outcome based education philosophies. Rollins, Brandon, Chapman, Leach, Newt, Scott, and Zepke, 2005, as cited in Clune. 2001 proposed holistic model of standards-based reform, which through purposeful activities leads to standards-based policy, which then leads to a rigorously implemented standards-based curriculum for all students. Assessment standards clarity and transparency will help teachers provide students with information of what they know and can do and, more importantly, the clear picture of what they need to do to improve so they can take charge of their own learning. According to Black and William, 1998, and Crooks, 1988, what is classroom assessment standards? It is a process of collecting and interpreting information that can be used to inform teachers, students, and, when applicable, parents, guardians, or other users of assessment information about Students' progress in attaining the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and behaviors to be learned or acquired in school by Joint Committee on Standards for Educational Evaluation in 2003. What is standard-based education? It is consistent with an emerging view of assessment for learning rather than assessment of learning according to Assessment Reform Group 1999, Black and William 1998, Crooks 1998. Rollins et al. 2005 suggest using standard-based assessment in a more student-centered pedagogical approach in teaching, placing the student in a more active role in the learning, teaching, and assessment cycle, thus creating a partnership between student and teacher. What is constructive alignment? Constructive refers to the idea that students construct meaning through relevant learning activities according to Biggs and Tang 2010 while alignment refers to the situation when teaching and learning activities and assessment tasks are aligned to the intended learning outcomes ILO alignment is best achieved by designing teaching and learning activities TLAs and the assessment tasks that activate the same verbs as are stated in the ELOS Biggs and Tang, 2010, added that constructive alignment starts with clearly stating, not what the teacher is going to teach, but what the outcome of that teaching is intended to be. This is expressed as the intended learning outcome, silo, which is a statement of what the learner is supposed to be able to do and at what standard. When students attend lectures, discussion, and other interactive activities, however, their main activity is receiving, not doing. Thus, constructive alignment is an outcomes-based approach to teaching in which the learning outcomes that students are intended to achieve are defined before teaching takes place. What is content? Standards. Standards can be presented in many ways such as 1. Content standards, 2. Benchmarks, and 3. Performance standards. Content standard is anchored on the national content standard from each discipline or learning areas in the K-12 curriculum. A content standard in education is a statement that can be used to judge the quality of curriculum content or as part of a method of evaluation. 
What is performance standards? Performance standards are the establishment of system standards, targets, and goals to improve educational practices. Standards may be set based on international, national, like PPST, K-12 curriculum guide, etc., state, or scientific guidelines benchmarking against similar institutions in order to be at par with international standards. Good performance. Standards should link up to the design of assessments intended to measure the standards, although they are usually at some distance from that process. What are the different types of assessment? Teachers may give assessment tasks purposively. The purpose may be diagnostic, formative, or summative. Diagnostic test is an assessment task given with the intent to ascertain the prior knowledge, misconceptions and strengths of the learners establishing a baseline before a new concept is introduced. Another is formative. Assessment for learning demands the utilization of data to aid the learning process. This includes periodic assessment tasks given with the goal of helping the students understand the covered segment of the entire course content. Most of the time, these instruments are called classroom activities. Due to their impact to learning and role is exercises, formative assessment must be used pervasively in class and need not be graded up at 2015. And we have summative. The last step in the learning episode is the assessment of the achievement of the set goals and targets. These data can be generated by giving summative tasks. These tasks are more comprehensive in nature and broader in scope than formative tasks. Yet these tasks are designated the sources of the grades of the students DEPED 2015. Let's remember that in quad assessment should be deliberately designed to improve and educate student performance not merely taught it as most school tests currently do in quad according to Grant Wiggins. By reference of interpretation, there are also types of assessment wherein results may be viewed using the performance of other test takers or the established standard is lenses. 1. Norm referenced assessment. In this category reports whether test takers performed better or worse than a hypothetical group of average students called norm group. The selected group of test takers must typically be of the same age or grade level and must have already taken the test. Simply, these tests rank students in terms of their achievement. 2. Criterion referenced. Assessment. This category reports whether students have achieved the set skills or not. Performances are judged based on a set of standards. Assessments come in many shapes and sizes. For those who are new to assessment or just starting out the terms can be hard to sort out or simply unfamiliar. The multifaceted nature of assessments means that educators can leverage them in a number of ways to provide valuable formal or informal structure to the learning process. The main thing to remember is that the assessment is a learning tool. What all assessments have been common is that they provide a snapshot of student understanding at a particular time in the learning process. Now, what is written assessments? These are activities in which the student selects or composes a response to a prompt. In most cases the prompt consists of printed materials, a brief question, a collection of historical documents, graphic or tabular material, or a combination of these. Some of the most familiar assessment strategies are quizzes, tests, state-administered standardized tests, and essays. Hope you have learned something today. So. Let's keep in mind, standard-based assessment is an approach that compares students' performances to the standards rather than comparing them with other students. According to Dorothy Strader, 2006, friends, stay tuned for more teaching and learning episodes. Maraming Salamat Poet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.